here's the full set of Advent Minis from the Lollipop Girl Yarns. And then this was the full skein for this year. And then this is the skein that Shirley sent me. So there you go. Now I'm going to play with these a minute and kind of line them up in order. And I found a pattern from Hedgehog Fibers I want to make with them, I think. So, yeah, I'm really... I really love all these colors. I think Laura did a great job for her first advent calendar. And these are some handmade ornaments that were gifts. Nikki made me these with the farm animals on them. She knew that I won't love these snow globe ornaments, and so she made me some. What is it, Baxter? Are you helping me again today? I'm finishing up Miss Betsy's gingerbread man. I'm on the trim portion, but apparently my white cotton yarn got in a bit of a state somehow, so I am straightening that out first. Um, and then I'm probably going to work outside as soon as it warms up a bit. I mean, it feels pretty good outside, but I'll go outside here in a little bit. I've got to air up the tire on my tractor so I can put the cows some hay out. And... Um, then I may go ahead and put the cardboard out as my weed block today. We'll see. Really, kind of what I want to do is just stay inside and craft, but I need to take advantage of this nice weather before we lose it. Um, so I need to do a little bit of something outside today for sure. Um, I've got a section of fence that I need to fix. Um, the net fence has gotten loose from the post, and I'm afraid Joe Donkey will get out, and we can't have that because he goes to the neighbor. Well, I've been outside working. I got uh, the weed block put down in the garden from some of the, con the cardboard around all my new fruit trees, and my neighbor Connie stopped by, and she brought me these because she knows I love them, and she brought me this really cool ornament that she had made for me. So, um, yeah, so I am... Done with my feeding and my watering, and I'm going to um, work on my hat, I think. I'm going to have some lunch and work on my hat. Um, I've got a little bit of a hitch in my get-along today from uh, my uh, hip, not my hip flexor, but I got a little bit of sciatica, and it's acting up today, I guess, from all the walking I've been doing outside. But anyway, so everything's good outside, so I am going to uh, do a little bit of crafting, and I'll check back in with y'all a little bit. Snick, Snick. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Snick, Snick. He's a good boy. Hi, Charlie. Oh, you got a booger in your eye. Hi, Hershey. Hi, guys. There's Joe Donkey, my little wandering man. You got a sore foot there, Joe Donkey. I'll have to look at that and see what's going on. We'll have to check that out later today, huh? Good boy. Hi, Hershey. Hi, Hersh. Hi, Joe Donkey. Hi, Joe Donkey. Oh, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Well, I've been working on my hat and um, watching some Christmas programs. And I wanted to find something to read today that seemed appropriate. Um for the time of year and the time we are in the world. And it's, an, it's a poem that's not new, and some of you may know it, but it seemed appropriate. Um, so I'm going to read it out here for you. And maybe if I get really ambitious, put some seasonal pictures over the top of it. We'll see. Ring out wild bells to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light. The year is dying in the night. Ring out wild bells and let him die. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust of gold. Ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant man and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand. 
Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the Christ that is to be. Well, I think I'm going to call this video series to an end. Thank you so much for everybody who has hung with me through these last 25 days of my vlogging. I'm so grateful to know that you've enjoyed it and that it's helped you. It's helped me for sure. It's helped me to feel like I'm part of a community of people who appreciate one another and it makes time, it makes things less lonely, doesn't it? It's nice to know that we've got these, this community out there. Um, thank you for watching my podcast. I'm so grateful to all of you for becoming part of my community and enjoying what I put out there. I hope that whatever holidays you choose to celebrate this time of year, you're having a wonderful, peaceful, restful time. I hope that you are able to enjoy yourselves, find something relaxing to do, and reflect on the past year as we move into the waxing light and we head toward the green part of the year, I hope that the things that you want to be growing in your life are growing and that the old non-useful things have been pruned away. So until I talk to y'all again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and from all the critters and me here. Y'all have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Solstice, a Happy Kwanzaa, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever you're choosing to celebrate. And until I see y'all again, y'all be good to each other and take care of each other. And peace out, y'all. Bye.